Hi there. Welcome to the seventh session of STQB Foundation Level Exam Sample Questions. So in this session, we will see five questions that are relevant to our exam. And if you work on these sample questions, you have more chances of passing this exam. So if you have any questions, suggestions, if you found any error from our previous video sessions, then do let me know in the comments. You can also send me private message on channel as well. Now, let's go ahead and take first question. Which of the following is likely to benefit most from the use of test tools providing test capture and replay facilities? A. Regression testing B. Integration testing C. System testing D. User acceptance testing Now before we go with elimination of options, let's read the question carefully. Which of the following is likely to benefit most from the use of test tools providing test capture and replay facilities. So when you are performing retesting or functional testing, you use capture and replay facilities. So where exactly that fits for our options? Option A, regression testing. Okay, so we know in regression testing, we go through retesting our product so option a is true here then b integration testing so we don't actually capture and replay for integrating multiple modules okay so b is not the option then comes c system testing we don't do capture and replay for system testing in case of system testing we go through different set of testing for that particular system component and then D user acceptance testing so though this type of testing looks closer to our answer user acceptance testing does not use capture and replay so option here remains is a regression testing now let's go to second question which one of the following statements about system testing is not true? A. System tests are often performed by independent teams. B. Functional testing is used more than structural testing. C. Faults found during system tests can be very expensive to fix. And D. End users should be involved in system tests. So A. System tests are often performed by independent teams. So this is not exactly false as well. So there are some independent teams that do perform system test. Then comes functional testing is used more than structural testing. So this is true. Functional testing is often used more than structural testing. Faults found during system testing can be expensive to fix. This is true because once the system is prepared, it is expensive to fix. So we have to go through all the chain from requirement to implementation to fix that. And then comes end users should be involved in the system test. That is not true. We only involve end user in beta test or let's say user acceptance test. Okay, so option D is not true because it doesn't answer the exact statement. So which of the following statement about system testing is not true. So D is not true here. Okay, now third question. Test cases are designed during test recording, test planning, test configuration, test specification. So we know that our test cases, test design and test plans are set during test specification okay so from there onwards our design begins for test cases so test recording is a wrong answer test planning being part of specification is 
also not the answer then comes test configuration which is again part of specification is wrong so answer here is D so the answer D so let's take next question which is which of the following statement about review is true reviews cannot be performed on user requirements reviews are the last the least effective way of testing code reviews are unlikely to find faults in test plans reviews should be performed on specification code and test plans so let's eliminate our options reviews cannot be performed on user requirements specifications so this is false now b reviews are the least effective way of testing code again false reviews are unlikely to find faults in test plans again false and comes d reviews should be performed on specification code and test plans so we know that review for code and test plan has to be done and so for the specification as well so d is true so let's take next question static analysis is best described as analysis of batch programs reviewing of test plans analysis of program code use of black box testing okay so static analysis does not run any code so let's go through that analysis of batch program is false option then reviewing of test plans is again not part of static analysis then comes analysis of program code okay and then d use of black box testing in black box testing we don't look at the code so d is wrong b is wrong a is wrong then we are remained with option c which says analysis of program code which is true so the answer here is c now i hope that you found these sample questions useful and i will see you in the next video